understand sex link disorders at all. It is easier to understand them if you understand care types and categories. Oh, hey, Ethan. Hey, here's a video that might help you understand this better. Color blindness is a genetic disorder that involves the inability to distinguish between different hues. Jared thought the light was green when it was red, so he ran the red light. What different types of color blindness are there? Well, there are several different types of color blindness. To name a few, there are red green color blindness, like Jared, and red weakness color blindness. So, like, how do you become color blind? Well, you don't become colorblind. You're born with it. So, what does that mean? Well, colorblindness is passed down from a mother, meaning it is sex-linked. The gene OPN1LW is the inherited gene that is the cause. Most of these genes are located on the autosomal chromosomes. However, the OPN1LW gene is located on the X chromosome. This gene is the most frequently affected gene in colorblindness. Traits and phenotypes can be traced down by using a pedigree trait. The mutation of colorblindness can be traced down in the same way. A pedigree is used by a geneticist to identify which past, present, and future members of a family would be or are carriers of an affected gene. A geneticist starts from the person of interest, then draws the family tree using symbols to represent relationships. If mostly males are affected, or mostly females are affected, it means the disorder is sex-linked. Colorblindness is a recessive, sex-linked disease passed down on the X chromosome. You can see the chromosome on a karyotype. The sex chromosomes are located at the bottom of this karyotype. Because this disease is passed down on the X chromosome, men are more likely to be affected. This is because the affected X chromosome cannot be dominated by a regular chromosome. Females have two X chromosomes. They receive one X chromosome from the mother and another from their father. If a female has one affected X chromosome, she still won't be affected by colorblindness because she has a normal X chromosome that will domi dominate over the affected gene. Males receive their X chromosome from their mother and their Y chromosome from their father. If a male has an affected X chromosome from his mother, he will have colorblindness because he does not have a backup chromosome to take over. So, does that mean that all men are colorblind? Well, you can take a short test to find out. No blood or urine is required. If you are red-green colorblind, you see a 3. If you are not colorblind, you see an 8. Guys, I understand sex link disorders, karyotypes, and pedigrees now. Oh, hey, Dad, what's up? What are you doing? Uh, just learning some, some things. Let me tell you about it. I learned how a sex link disease is a disorder that is determined by the sex chromosomes of an organism. It is also useful in tracking the path of the disorder. Karyotypes show you the chromosomes and what the X and Y chromosomes look like. And then a pedigree can be used to identify who is a carrier or who is affected by the, by the disorder based off the family history and the use of symbols to determine relationships between family members. <laughs> I'm not in genetics. <laughs>
If you found out that you are colorblind today, go to your local doctor and be a safe driver.